Welcome to Dao's Small Library. Read together. Today is It's Mine by Leo Leoni. It's mine. In the middle of Rainbow Fund, there was a small island. Smooth pebbles lined its beaches and it was covered with ferns and leafy weeds. On the island lived three quarrelsome frogs named Milton, Rupert, and Lydia. They quarreled and quivered from dawn to dusk. Stay out of the front, yelled Milton. The water is mine. Get off the island, shouted Rupert. The earth is mine. The air is mine, screamed Lydia as she lived to catch a butterfly. And so it went. One day, a rose told a field before them. I lived on the other side of the island, he said. But I can hear you shouting. It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! All day long. There is no feast because of your endless bickering. You can't go on like this. With that, the turtle slowly turned around and hopped away through the reeds. Now, Sina had left the damn Merton run off with a rose worm. The others hopped after him. Worms are for everybody, they cried. But Merton cried differently. <laughs> Not this one, it's mine. Suddenly, the sky darkened and rumbling of distant thunder circled the island. Rain peeled the air and the water turned to mud. The island grew smaller and smaller as it was swallowed up by the rising flood. The frog was scared. Thus fortunately, they clung to the few slippery stones that still rose above the wild, dark water. But soon these two began to disappear. There was only one rock left, and there the frog huddled, trembling from cold and fright. But they felt better now that they were together, sharing the same fears and hopes. Little by little, the flood subsided. The rain fell gently and then stopped altogether. But look, the rose rock that had saved them was no rock at all. You saved us, shouted the frogs when they recognized the turtle. The next morning, the water had cleared. Sun rays chased the silver minerals on the sandy bottom of the front. Joyfully, the frogs jumped in, and side by side, they swam all around the island. Together, they lived after swarms of butterflies, 
They have filled the air. And better when they rest in the weeds, they felt happy in a way they had never been before. Isn't it peaceful? said Milton. And isn't it beautiful? said Rupert. And do you know what else? said Lydia. No, what? The others asked. It's ours, she said. Wow, it's a lovely book. Thank you for watching. It's mine. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye bye.